nothing like homegrown tomatoes. Who's that, Arlo Guthrie? That's great. <laughs> the Oceanside Pole Farm wraps up its tomato season this month. Allie Wagner is there checking it out for us. Oh, I'm so sorry, Allie. Wow. <laughs> it looks cold. Windy and chilly. Oh, no, don't be sorry because have you seen where I am? Look at we this. are looking Beautiful. at their farm right here. This is in Oceanside. And I was going to say, Priya, this is, you guys supply tomatoes to who? Just about everybody. We're about it in every retail chain in the U.S. So Albertsons, Kroger's, Ralph's, Safeways, you know, Walmart's, just about everybody. Wow, and you are here in Oceanside and have been for, for 50 years. So tell me a little bit, obviously, so tomato season is May through October, but you guys are actually harvesting right now and you harvest frequently. That's correct. So we typically start harvest by the end of June and we'll run all the way right about to Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, and we'll, we'll continue harvesting our vine ripened tomatoes out here. Which is something different because you guys actually harvest like multiple times a week or, you know, you make sure that they're actually go and become ripened on the vine, right? That's correct. We're one of the last vine ripened growers here in California, uh, one of the largest in the United States. Um, we still grow tomatoes like I believe they should be, yeah. vine ripened. We go through, we harvest twice a week for about 12 weeks. So we get optimal flavor, consistency, and quality. What is, is What's the difficulty of being a farmer in, in, in the world today? What does what it look like right now? Uh, competition. Yeah. You know, you got a lot of crop coming up from Mexico. You know, our costs here have uh, have gone up. To be able to provide uh, a crop like this, it's it's expensive to grow. And you guys have people who actually come out at 6:30 in the morning. I saw some of them leaving this morning. How do you know when they're ripe? How do you know when it's time to pick? So we pick our fruit at what we call a breaker stage. Okay. So uh, the blossom end of that fruit uh, is already changing color. It's already a, a pink color. It's starting to go red. Um, and that's how we'll harvest our product. Okay. I see a few of those on here and a few very large ones. And I would imagine that that's because these vines have been here for a number of years. Are they older vines? And then, so what we do is we typically will plant every single year. So uh, you'll, you'll plant your crop in and within about 70 to 75 days, you'll actually get your first tomato off of it. You'll harvest it for another 12 weeks and then what we'll do is we'll literally take these stakes out, everything, we'll take it down, we'll disc it up, plow it into the field and then we redo everything the following year. Okay, so for people who try to, to grow their tomatoes at home, what's mm -hmm. your number one suggestion to them? Find a sunny spot. Okay. Um, and watch your uh, fertilizer and your water. The okay. two most important things. Fertilizer and water. To, yeah, you need to watch how much you're watering. People overdo it way too much and it ends up killing your crop and ends up killing your tomatoes. I think this is such an amazing family business. What a beautiful view, you guys. And uh, we're going to get some more tips. Plus, we're going to check out some Brussels sprouts as well that they have growing here. We'll have that coming up for you. Pretty uh, pretty view, you guys. I'm I have to say, it's gorgeous. gorgeous up here. I know when you started this, I had no idea that the, 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 the expanse of this farm, I mean, it is giant and impressive. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful very, very view. cool. Fascinating, right? Yeah, yeah. Right here, right here in Oceanside. I have to thank yeah. the Sink family for letting us see this. This is yeah. incredible. Gosh, look at it. Yeah. You just would never think that's tomatoes. She's <laughs> amazing. Would be driving past that, All right, Allie. Thanks gorgeous. very much. Looking forward to the Brussels sprouts, Allie. I know. Seriously. <laughs>